Well, Jason, tomorrow night, oh, sorry, Thursday night, uh, Stade Francais away, last day of the competition. What an, what an experience is going to be for you guys? Yeah, it's been an exciting sort of month for us, really. You know, uh, going well in the Premiership and um, obviously got this Amelin Quarter Final Cup to look forward to, and it doesn't really get any bigger than that. So it's exciting times here. You're going into it with plenty of confidence. So, one defeat since the turn of the year. Um, boys are playing some fantastic rugby at the moment. Yeah, it's nice to turn up the training, smiles on faces. The boys are sort of dueling the ball around, throwing it around. Um, it's just good to be a part of it at the moment, and uh, I think we're just looking forward to it. The challenges ahead, and you know we're relishing them. I know over time you've you've dreaded the weather. Sometimes here in Devon, you've seen snow, you've seen wind, rain, everything. It's more sort of Super 15s rugby weather now for you, and uh, we're seeing that sort of game plan coming out with the boys. Yeah, it's been nice the last couple of weeks. It's obviously been really enjoyable here, and um, yeah, the weather's definitely helped. And I think you've sort of seen the side of Exeter Chiefs where we throw the ball around, and the backs are getting involved, which is is nice for me. As always, you would have done your homework this week on Stad. Um, what have you learned about them? What can we expect when we go over there? I think we can expect everything, you know, they're a French side, they'll throw the ball around, they'll play from anywhere, um, they're very dangerous on broken attack and I don't think we can worry about them too much, you know, we've got to just sort of implement our own game plan on them and try and get our own attack going and if we can do that, hopefully um, things will go our way. Twelve months down the line from where we were, say, this time last year, huge strides have been made by the club. Yeah, definitely. We're building all the time, aren't we? And um, like I said, it's exciting. And hopefully, you know, the Amelin Cup quarter final, and hopefully next year, maybe Heineken Cup, fingers crossed. And, you know, this club's looking up, which is nice. It's good to be a part of. The midfield's always a tough area to get into, but you've got a lot of competition there, and it's, yeah. it's bringing the best out of you guys. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, you've got Sorelli coming back from injury, and he's an awesome machine when he gets going. And obviously, Brian Rennie's playing well. Full Dolman's playing well at fullback. He can slot into the midfield as well. And uh, Josh Tatupi's coming back from injury, too. So it's pretty scary actually when you think about it, but um, you know, we're going well at the moment, so that's all we can focus on. The tribe will be travelling in force over to France as well. I know we've talked in the past about the support they provide, but uh, we've seen it in the last few weeks, particularly at Gloucester, the noise they can generate. Yeah, exactly. Uh, our fans are amazing everywhere we go. They're, they're there in force, even Newcastle. I mean, when we went over to France earlier the year, in the year, they were there, and you know, it makes a big difference to a team. And I think um, when games are tight and you've got your fans cheering for you, you know, it can make a big difference. It's been a pretty special week for you. Uh, arrival of your third child, a little baby boy. Boy, um, yeah. sleepless nights or not yet? Uh, yeah, last night was a bit sleepless, <laughs> but uh, he's been pretty good. Um, yeah, it's just, I suppose, yeah, it's been exciting and, and it's nice to finally get that boy I've been looking forward to. <laughs> so, uh, future shoe, Mark, who could play for England, maybe? He maybe could, I don't know, we'll <laughs> see about that. <laughs> Thank you, mate. No worries.